but I do enough exercise. When you sit for it, sit for meditation, you feel ache and pain because you have not done exercise. Learning to stand on the head means what? Learning to walk on your feet. That's the real meaning. Real meaning is learn to walk on your feet. You see, you don't walk on your head. After you attain this, you know, don't do any meditation, just sit down and ask yourself, to, you are steady and you are comfortable, and survey yourself, all the parts of the body. are comfortable and steady. You will find body, muscles are okay. But there is something that is disturbing me, not perfectly coordinated breath. It's not a long course. If you start it today and if you can continue for six months, you have done it. But if you cannot continue for even a week, well, you know the me technique, you have not attained anything. So you just relax. Actually, this is relaxation. What, is, what creates that problem? Breath. The finest of breath, the final exercise which I am going to give you is this. And this should be practiced at length. Then comes pranayama exercise. I have not taught you any pranayama up to this time. Pra means first, na means unit. First unit of energy which is already within you. How it is charged by breath, through breathing. That is pranayama. Yama means control. Prana means the vehicles that supply energy. How to control these vehicles so that they are regulated. Breathing exercises are different, they are superficial, they are important, but they are superficial, they are not called pranayama. They prepare you to do pranayama. Pranayama are the deeper, deeper exercises. They can be mentally. Through pranayama you can apply susumna. Through breathing you cannot. That's the difference. Through pranayama you can have kumbhaka, long time. Human beings have immense potentials, no limit. So may I used to say, Nirvanji, don't you get tired? He said, tired of what? I am not walking. I am not doing any work. Why should I be tired? He said, tell me, when do you get tired? When you work hard? I said, yes. But he said, I am sitting gently. I could not convince him. He said, what do you mean by tired? And if you feel comfortable for ten minutes, why cannot be comfortable for two hours? And I could not answer this question. So what do you mean by tired? I am sitting comfortably. I said, why do you not change posture? Said, That's not called. See, that will make me tired, he said. So when you sit, you see, Gradually, it's a gradual practice because it is not in your culture, nobody teaches you, you have to culture yourself, you have to do that. You see, these are simple, small things, but you should know that. You see, few minutes. During that time when you don't have to do any duty, I'm talking about it. I'm talking about sadhakas. But remember that. The ratio is, if you sit ten minutes, then forty minutes you will have to do exercise. This is the ratio. And after that you will have to move, do movement, so that you are free. Often you say, my feet are sleeping. They become numb, a lack of exercise. They will be numb. But if you do exercise, there will be no numbness if you are Posture is correct. 
Now, shortest cut I am leading with this time. Leave all those nose business. You have done enough. You have done for many years. Now you have to use your mental effort to regulate your breath. For simple reason, if you pay attention on this, you see, that nostril will become active. If you pay attention towards this, this will become active. Active. You should learn to change the breath consciously once in a day, so that breath functions according to your conscious control. A, hey, can you believe one thing, and whether you believe or not, I assure you, when I drop my body, you all will know, and I will tell you first. This can be done. Very easy, simple. Very simple. I don't want my body to be snatched by, from me by so-called death. Yes, disease will be there because body is subject to disease. Any body. It's not Im immortal. But body is mine. I have to know how to change, how to drop it. You don't lie in the bed and wait for death to come and doubt to, to pump and all these great problems for you. Yeah, they help. If they make you comfortable, it's okay. But you should learn the method of wearing your body, dropping your body, for it's important garment for you. you see. I have witnessed many such cases, and we are taught that. And this is simple. And this is the only method that the procedure is the same. You see. Willpower. You see, if you hate something and don't like it, what happens? You find blisters in your mouth. Have you noticed that, any of you? Something, you know, which you don't like to eat, you find blisters in your mouth. How the blisters occur? You know. Something happens in your mind and you start crying. This is not physical pain. How does it happen? And you started sobbing, and suddenly your breath changes. How does it happen? And you get sad, and suddenly you start going to bathroom. How does it happen? When you note all these minor points, you will come to know there is something from within, something from inside motivates you to function. So after Attaining a steady, oh, a steady and comfortable posture is unique. Then you learn one practice, very good practice. A state away you can practice it. This is compared with the physical exercise. Finest of all exercises, which is the finest of all exercises in yoga? Hmm? Are you teaching anybody Shanta? Where is Shanta? Okay. If it is done correctly, it's a unique exercise. A man of eighty or hundred have energy like twenty-five years old. This is a wonderful thing. Provided you do Agnisara. As there is Agnisara is a powerful, vigorous, wonderful exercise that activates the solar system, you see. So there is one single exercise in breathing exercise. And the ratio and how far it should be done, how much it should be done, I am going to tell you. This arrow indicates inhalation, and this arrow indicates exhalation. Yes. 